So first I'm going to talk about building the new master Sable library folder and we're going to look at the sample situation first. So you'll have um, maybe elements from volumes 1, 2 and possibly 3a. You'll have uh, within your folder, I've deleted the other files just to, to make things clearer what I'm doing. You'll have a samples folder, a master samples folder, um, and then you'll have um, elements that you might have downloaded like the stereo mixes, the main mics, some people won't need the surround mixes, but there could be things from, from all, all four of those in there. Now the way that this needs to be organized is you're going to use um, the new system downloads to one master folder for everything, so Spitfire BML Sable library. Um, and everything goes into a master samples folder and then whatever you're downloading it appears according to what section you're downloading so this uh, here is the um, volume one update um, which has some new um, parts for cello and violin one so for our existing sable library folders we're going to combine them into this folder structure it's basically the same for each set of mics or mixes it's uh, alphabetical order bass, cello, viola, violin 1, violin 2. And then within there you'll be able to see things, um, elements from volume 2 in this case, because these are the basses, um, from volume 3. I've copied in some stuff from volume 4 already into this folder. Um, and that's how things are going to be organised. So the first, thing that, first job you need to do is to assemble your master folder from your existing samples. Make sure that you don't overwrite any of these um, folders when you're copying stuff. You should always be copying stuff into um, an existing folder structure or a master folder structure. You don't want to delete samples by accident while you're doing this. So then we'll have stuff that we've downloaded and for this example as I mentioned I've literally just picked one thing. It's the main mics um, element of the volume one update. Now in this um, download location what I could do is I could download all of the Sable updates that I get into this same location and if you do that first it might make things easier for you because the downloader intelligently combines things um, and it'll just populate all of these folders it'll create any folders that you need and then you'll have a whole load of stuff ready to copy over but for this for the purposes of this demonstration we'll look at um, how things appear um, for just this one element so you'll get your main library folder which will be the same as your as your newly constructed master folder that you've made from your existing stuff it'll have a samples subfolder there's always one master subfolder called samples then within that you've got your um, main mics here and then violin one and cello subfolders with the new stuff in there so the way you'll do this is you obviously look for the equivalent you'll see that uh, okay I've got a load of stuff in there and then what I need to do is I need to add this new stuff to that folder. So I'm just going to select those two files, I'm going to copy them over into the correct place and then after a few seconds they will appear down here. So um, it's fairly straightforward, it's a little bit fiddly but this is the simplest way to do this. Um, we've tried a couple of different solutions, we tried coding um, apps to combine folders but um, it's not always going to be straightforward because um, I know from people speaking to me on the support system that some people have organized the way that their folders are, are built differently and the best way to do this now to make this into one master product especially as we as we add bits onto it and um, with this with this fantastic update that we've got coming out now this is the best way to do it by hand um, you only have to do it once and then it's done and then everything that you can copy in is um, nice and simple. And also it means that your new uh, instruments files that you download um, will be referencing all of the samples in the correct place. You won't have to battery save and any of that kind of stuff. So that's it really. Um, you download your updates as they appear. You grab the individual NKX files for the samples and then you just pop them into your new master structure and um, you'll be all set. So new master folder, Spitfire BML Sable library, within that samples wise you've got a single samples folder, alt mics, main mics, stereo mixes, surround mixes and then in e inside each one each of the instrument sections here. And then you'll be all set. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.